I'm Jessila and I'm the chemistry teacher at Petra Training Institute. Today we will learn what is meant by an ionic bond and how to form an ionic bond. Ionic bond is a strong electrostatic force of attraction between two ions. Who are the two ions? A positively charged ion and a negatively charged ion. What do we call them? A positively charged ion is known as a cation and a negatively charged ion is known as an anion. So the strong electrostatic force of attraction between a cation and an anion is known as an ionic bond. So we have to know who forms a cation and who forms an anion. For example, let's take the case of NaCl molecule. Okay, so in the formation of NaCl, there is a metal sodium and a non-metal chlorine. And we have to look into their electronic configurations. So whenever a metal and a non-metal comes together, they will be forming an ionic bond. Okay, so sodium, the atomic number is 11, so its electronic configuration is 281. There is one electron in the outermost shell of sodium, whereas chlorine, the atomic number is 17, so the electronic configuration is 287. There are seven electrons in the outermost shell of chlorine. So, for any atom to be stable, they have to attain eight electrons in their outermost shell. Okay, so that's easy for sodium to lose one electron so that chlorine can gain one electron. So, all of their atoms will be having eight electrons in their outermost shell. Okay, now we have to represent the outer electron in sodium by a dot and of chlorine we will denote by a cross. This is known as cross and dot diagram. Okay, and sodium doesn't need this electron whereas chlorine needs one more. Okay, so they will undergo a mutual understanding and sodium will donate or it will give this electron to chlorine. Okay, now sodium loses one electron whereas chlorine gains one electron. Okay, so what is formed? Sodium is converted as sodium plus ion. One electron is lost, isn't it? So it will be having a positively positive charge and chlorine which will be having a negative charge. Okay, now there are eight electrons in chlorine atom. Now it is converted into chlorine ion and the eight electron was given by sodium. Okay. And whenever a positive ion and a negative ion comes together, there will be strong electrostatic force of attraction between these two. And that strong electrostatic force of attraction is known as an ionic bond. Okay, so I think the topic is clear to you. The ionic bond is a strong electrostatic force of attraction between a positive ion and a negative ion. And that's all. Thank you.